people, and welcome back to the Salem Intruder, where today we will be doing a special New Year's episode. And before you ask, yes, I am still using my Christmas graphic package, but guess what? The graphic package is not strictly limited to Christmas. It says Winter Wishes, which means I can use it until at least March, so deal with it. For this very special episode of The Intruder, I have watched all my videos, all the way back to my first recap episode on May 30th, 2021. At the very end of the episode, I will be awarding a gimmick of the year, so stay tuned. This year, we ended the year with 21 episodes, 43 new subscribers, a total of 6,588 views, 116 likes, and 16 comments. Fun fact! I used to do love triangle segments as Switch 2 segments, but I later switched to love triangle segments with dedicated names. From Friend Hug, which appeared twice, to Dance Party, which appeared two or three times, there were a lot of great love triangle segments this year. These graphics were the most fun to make. But by far the best love triangle segment was Team Saggy Joe, which appeared for a total of five times and ended up making the cover of the June 22nd episode of The Intruder. Fun fact, Team Saggy Jowl is actually what got me started on cutting out heads, which I have done an unhealthy amount over the course of this year. Some of my other favorite segments include Lock Horns, where I would cover a big fight that happened that week, and Xander Sanders, where we would cover what Xander was up to that week. Mostly, I just like Xander Sanders because of its name. Neither of these got devoted graphics, which is kind of a shame. You know what? We're gonna do it. We're going to bring back Lockhorns in 2022 with a professional-looking graphic. Perhaps my favorite segment ever was Dump Theo, which appeared in the show four times and mostly consisted of me making fun of the frequent use of Africa as a plot device. I always had so much fun with this segment. Speaking of fun, I had way too much fun with Ten Bell Salutes, a gimmick that I stole pr from professional wrestling. I loved making the fake headstones, which I used for two of the three salutes. But we can't forget the first 10 bell salute, which went out to Dr. Creepy Snyder 2.0. Dr. Creepy was such a fun character, because he was really easy to make fun of. Dr. Creepy has made a whopping 8 appearances on the show. I've been making fun of him ever since the first episode. Infographics became a big part of the show as my ideas got crazier and harder to explain. The first infographic I made was teen kidnapping. The next two were kind of a set. The first being the infamous tear chart. It took me forever to cut out all those heads. And then I made one entitled, Reasons Why Someone Is Not in the Tear Chart, because I got lazy. My two favorite infographics were for my intrusive investigation series, which ran for five episodes in the fall. First, a history of Chabigail. I made this one to demonstrate that Chad and Redhead Abigail were not meant to be together, and I think I built up a pretty good argument. Second, the many types of blackmail. I did this one for like a five second bit, but I think I'll use it a lot in the future, especially when I do a video on the different types of blackmail. Now, everyone knows you can't have a good awards show without an in memoriam segment. I'd like to take this time to remember those that we've lost. person is noticeably missing from the lineup. Evil Dupree was eaten by Devil Marlena on my show during the 25th annual Salem Lime Pie convention. And considering the fact that she has been coughed up in chunks by Devil Marlena during my Halloween episode, I'm going to assume that she is dead. While she was my arch enemy for most of the time that we knew each other, she also became my dear friend. I have not yet had the opportunity to honor her, but I'd like to take that opportunity now. Please join me in honoring Evil Dupree with the traditional ten bell salute. The 
Gimmick of the Year Award is a very prestigious achievement. It is an award given to the gimmick that has gained the most audience attention, and also has the most future potential. Additionally, the award can only be given to a gimmick that is loved and enjoyed by its creator as well. The nominees for the 2021 Gimmick of the Year are... Evil Dupree, 6 appearances. Team Saggy Gel, 5 appearances. So, we simply drop in an image of a given event, and meter, and real three appearances. The rest. And the award goes to... Team Saggy Gel. Congratulations to Team Saggy Gel.